Iranian Deputy Defense Minister Amir Rastegari said Iran was preparing six satellites for launch by March 2024, trend report citing Iranian media. Rastegari, who is also the CEO of Iran Electronics Industries, IEI, of the Defense Ministry, made the remarks in an interview. He said preparations were being made to launch an Iranian satellite constellation, expressing hope that IEI would be able to put into low Earth orbit two CubeSats and the homegrown Earth observation satellite Tola 3 by March 2024. With a weight of 150 kilograms, Tola 3 is Iran's first miniature satellite. It is capable of taking black and white photos with a 5-meter spatial resolution and colored photos with a 10-meter resolution, said Rastegari. Rastegari noted that IEI had carried out good cooperation with the Iranian Space Agency and Russia, adding that IEI is negotiating with the Aerospace Industries Organization of Iran's Defense Ministry and Russia to accelerate the launch of Iranian satellites into space. In August 2022, Iran successfully launched the Qayyam satellite into space from the Baikonur space station in Kazakhstan by Russia's Soyuz satellite carrier rocket. The United States has repeatedly voiced concern that such launches could boost Iran's ballistic missile technology, extending to the potential delivery of nuclear warheads. But Iran insists it is not seeking nuclear weapons and that its satellite and rocket launches are for civil or defense purposes only. Nahid-1 and Nahid-2 satellites are being prepared, Zarepour was quoted as saying by the official news agency IRNA. Nahid is the name given to a series of telecommunications satellites developed by the Iranian Space Research Center. According to Zarepour, we will have launches by year's end, March 20 in the Persian calendar. In early November, Iranian state television announced the successful suborbital launch of the satellite launcher named Gim-100. The Gim-100 rocket was manufactured by the Aerospace Organization of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps and it is the country's first three-stage solid-fuel satellite launcher, the channel added. Iran successfully put its first military satellite into orbit in April 2020, drawing a sharp rebuke from Washington. In August this year, another Iranian satellite, named Qayyam, was launched by Russia on a Soyuz 2.1B rocket from Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Iran's space agency said the device was constructed by Russia under Iran's supervision. The U.S. alleged at the time that the Qayyam would enable significant spying capabilities and that a deepening Russia-Iran alliance amounted to a profound threat to the world. Iran's space agency rejected those allegations, countering that the purpose of Qayyam was to monitor the country's borders, and help with the management of natural resources and agriculture. Iran's Revolutionary Guards tested a new satellite carrying rocket on Saturday, state media reported, a move the United States called unhelpful and destabilizing. Washington fears the same long-range ballistic technology used to put satellites into orbit could also be used to launch nuclear warheads. Tehran has regularly denied having any such intention. The flight test of the satellite carrier with a solid-fueled engine, was successfully completed, state news agency IRNA reported.
The Game 100, Iran's first three-stage launch vehicle, will be able to place satellites weighing 80 kilograms, 180 pounds, in an orbit 500 kilometers, 300 miles, from the Earth's surface, IRNA said. Amirali Hajizadeh, head of the Revolutionary Guards Aerospace Division which developed the Game 100, said the rocket would be used to launch Iran's Nahid satellite for the telecommunications ministry, state media reported. Saturday's operation tested the first suborbital stage of the rocket, the reports said. In an emailed response to the Iranian announcement, a spokesperson for the U.S. State Department said, such actions are unhelpful and destabilizing. The United States remains concerned with Iran's continued development of space launch vehicles, SLVs, which pose a significant proliferation concern, the spokesperson said. SLVs incorporate technologies that are virtually identical to, and interchangeable with, those used in ballistic missiles, including longer-range systems. The official said launches of SLVs defy United Nations Security Council Resolution, UNSCR, 2231, which calls upon Iran not to undertake any activities related to ballistic missiles designed to be capable of delivering nuclear weapons, including launches using such ballistic missile technology. Washington continues to use a variety of non-proliferation tools, including sanctions, to counter the further advancement of Iran's ballistic missile program and its ability to proliferate missiles and related technology to others, the spokesperson added.